This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. He made it until July of 03, and then he was released. Uh, the observer would say Terry Taylor's departure apparently was not a financial cutback issue. It was a discipline deal, but not believed to have much, if anything, to do with him offering divergent opinions. Reports are he's waiting to see if he's going to be offered a severance package before taking a job with TNA, which would nix such a package. There is no official word if he's being offered a job in TNA, but he's got more friends in the company right now. Of course, Scott Demore was something of a protege of his, and uh, he's out once again. He winds up being picked up by TNA, just as Meltzer had speculated. And he was there really from any longest stretch of his career anywhere from 03 until 2011. And at uh, WrestleMania 28, you called the Triple H Undertaker match. It was dubbed the end of an era match. And it was reported at the Observer that Terry Taylor was at that show and in heavy negotiations to come back and be a fixture and developmental. Of course, that's pre NXT, but. They, uh, saw him in that role and it worked out and Terry, I believe is, uh, still helping folks down at NXT to this day. What do you think his legacy is going to be in professional wrestling when it's all said and done? Highly touted, high maintenance, uh, highly skilled, uh, never quite, he was later in life until he found out what he was really, really good at. And Terry's been a really good instructor coach, uh, down in, uh, in NXT. Uh, and so, but I go back to what I said earlier, in my opinion, and this is a grandpa and a father talking his greatest achievement is how he's raised his sons because it's a job that, you know, we, neither of us with our children and my grandchildren have, have to deal with what he has to deal with on a daily basis. It's got to be challenging and daunting uh, and, and tough, emotionally tough. So to me, he was always, uh, he's a hell of a wrestler. Uh, he's a great coach, but I think his greatest accolade to Conrad seriously is the fact that he's been a great father yep. to two special needs sons, uh, and a job that uh, many of us would cringe at knowing this is what we, this is what we have to do. We have to take care of these two boys and, uh, and he's done that. So all the other negative stuff, I race, he couldn't decide what he wanted to do. He had high expectations. He had bad communication skills. He's got to chill at the right time and all those things to me, all that is put on the race board, like that little big breasted girl from AT and T, uh, does in our commercials, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know talking? Nope. But I guess you, I need to look that up. Look it up. Look at her name. Uh, it's 18 Lily or something. And they keep her, <laughs> no, they keep her bundled down because she's, she's very buxom, buxom. Oh yeah. 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 And, uh, Milana, uh, that's his name. That's her name. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. I wish she lived in Jacksonville, uh, or Norman could probably be, could probably be arranged. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Who, what? Let's hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.